Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Alisha Maths Classes. So today I am going to introduce exercise 7.1 of chapter number 7 integration of class 12th. But before that those students who have not watched the introduction video related to this chapter number 7 or those who don't understand the formulas of integration then they can see our previous video the description is given in the i link please tap over there to see that video so without wasting the time let's start our exercise 7.1 Students, this is our question number one of exercise 7.1 that is we have to find out the integration of sine 2x. But before that we have to just think, uh, think in the anti-reverse process of differentiation. All of you know that the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So the derivative of cos x will give you this answer in the sin x. So I am writing here if I will take the derivative of cos 2x. So what will our answer? Definitely minus 2 sin 2x. Because the derivative of cos 2x is minus sin 2x as well as by using the chain rule the derivative of sin 2x will be 2. So it's the derivative of cos 2x will be completely minus 2 sin 2x. Now if I will shift this differential operator on the right hand side it will become integrator operator. So the answer will be cos 2x is equal to integration of minus 2 sin 2x dx. So from here we will just shift this minus 2 on the right hand side and what I get what do I get the integration of sin 2x dx will be equal to minus cos 2x plus as it is uh, it is a uh, indefinite integral so I put here plus c for the constant of integration so this is our final answer the integration of sin 2x dx is minus cos 2x upon 2 plus c where c is constant of integration as this is a indefinite integral. I hope so that you understood uh, this question. The next question is question number 2 that is cos 2x, cos 3x. Now in the exam you don't have the time to just waste and think over the reverse process of differentiation. So you will do directly by using the formulas. So what is the formula? I just tell you the shortcut trick. The integration of cos x is sin x. Please just remember the thing the theta will not change. Here theta is not x, it is actually 3s, 3x. So answer will be sin 3x. But uh, here the coefficient of x is not 1, it is actually 3. So 3 will come in the denominator plus c. So this is our answer sin 3x upon 3 plus c. This is the direct method you can use. Why I am putting here 3 in the denominator because in the de derivatives you are putting uh, you are just using uh, chain rule and uh, by chain rule you differentiate 2x so you get 3 in the multiplication but in integration everything is going to be in reverse process so everything is going to be division which is coming in the case of multiplication and differentiation so please remember this thing. The next question is integration of e raised to power x. Please remember first of all you have to put the integration operator over there. So integration of e raised to power 2, uh, 2x dx is equal to all of you know that the integration of e raised to power x is e raised to power x nothing is going to be changed over there. So integration of e raised to power x e raised to power 2x is e raised to power 2x and what is the coefficient of x here that is 2. So 2 will come in the denominator plus c. So these are very simple questions. Now the next question is ax plus b whole square dx. Here you don't need to open this uh, complete term ax plus b whole square. As this is a linear term and all of you know that the integration of x raised to power n is x raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. Please remember this thing that, that x should be in linear term. So here ax plus b is linear using the same identity or same formula ax plus b raised to power n plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 plus c. But also I told you that you have to take the coefficient of x and the denominator here the coefficient of x is a. So a will come in the denominator because in differentiation it, it comes in the multiplication so in integration it will come in the division so the final answer is ax plus b whole cube upon 3a plus c i hope that you understood all these four questions so students next our question number fifth is integration of sin 2x minus 4 e raised to power 3x so first of all we will split the in integration symbol over both the parts that means sin 2x dx minus 4 can be taken outside because 4 is a constant so we will integrate e raised to power 3x dx 
सो नाउ द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स इज माइनस कॉज एक्स सो माइनस कॉज वॉट इज एक्स वॉट इज एक्स हेयर एक्स इज एक्चुअली द थीटा द थीटा इज हेयर टू एक्स एंड वॉट अब द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज देयर दैट विल कम इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज टू दैट मीन्स टू विल कम इन द डिनोमिनेटर इन द सेम वे द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ई रेस टू पार एक्स इज ई रेस टू पार एक्स सो इट विल बी ई रेस टू पार थ्री एक्स एंड वॉट इज द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स हेयर दैट इज थ्री सो थ्री विल कम इन द डिनोमिनेटर प्लस सी so this is very simply question you can just do within a second you don't need to waste your time now next is integration of 4 e raised to power 3x plus 1 dx so please first of all you have to split up the terms so 4 can be taken outside that is it is uh, independent of x 4 is a constant here plus integration 1 dx now same with the integration of e raised to power x is e raised to power x so it will it is not going to change but the coefficient of x is 3 so it will come in the denominator and the integration of 1 is x plus c so you just need to know the formula of the integration and you can directly apply it to find out the answer now now, now the next question is integration of x square into 1 minus 1 by x square so first of all you have to split the term you have to just multiply the terms x square into 1 is x square and x square multiplied by 1 by x square will be cancelled so it will be exactly 1 now splitting the integration over both the terms so it will be x square dx minus integration of 1 dx now using the formula of integration of x is to power n that will be equal to x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus the integration of 1 is x plus c so answer is x cube upon 3 minus x plus c this is our answer Moving on to next eighth question, that is ax square plus bx plus c. First of all, you have to take integration of operator over each term separately. So it will be equal to a can be taken outside as this is a constant. So we'll just put integration over x square. B is again constant, can be taken outside. Integration of x dx plus integration of c can be taken outside, and nothing is left over here. So we put here one dx. so the answer is a into x is to power now i'm doing directly the two uh, just applying the formula of integration of x is to power n that is x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 upon 3 here the power is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 upon 2 plus c the integration of 1 with respect to x is x plus the constant of a uh, constant of integration it can be taken as c1 because c is all, already included in the question so you have to take some other constant of integration note down all these questions so the next question is question number 9 integration of 2x square plus e raised to power x dx so in the same way constant can be taken outside integration of x square dx plus integration of e raised to power x dx now using the formula of integration of x is to power n that is x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus integration of e raised to power x is same e raised to power x and the coefficient of x is 1 so we don't need to write down the one in the denominator so it is going to be same so the final answer is 2x cube by 3 plus e raised to power x plus c now the next question is 10th integration of square root x minus 1 by square root x whole square so first of all you have to open this identity by using a minus b whole square all of you have done these identities in 8th standard a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab using this formula that is a square plus b square minus 2 into a is root x and b is 1 by root x dx now it is equal to the square root of x is x square root will be cancelled by square it is 1 by x minus 2 square root x will be cancelled by square root x so it is going to be 2 splitting the integration over each part it is going to be this so now using the formula of integration of x is to power n that is x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 that is n is here 1 plus the integration of 1 by x is log x because the derivative of log x is 1 by x so integration of 1 by x is log x and the integration of 1 as here nothing is left over so we can consider here 1 the integration of 1 with respect to x is x plus as usual the constant of integration that is c so the final answer is x square upon 2 plus log x 
माइनस टू एक्स प्लस सी प्लीज रिमेंबर हेयर दैट इफ एनी स्टूडेंट हैज एनी एनी कन्फ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग द सोल्यूशन और यू आर नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट योर सोल्यूशन देन यू कैन चेक योर आंसर ऑल्सो बाय जस्ट डूइंग द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इफ यू विल डू द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन यू विल गेट अगेन द फंक्शन हेयर जस्ट सी इफ आई विल डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस फंक्शन अगेन टेकिंग द डेरीवेटिव वन बाय टू इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर विल बी टू एक्स द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ लॉग एक्स विल बी वन बाय एक्स एंड द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ टू एक्स इज टू एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट डेरीवेटिव विल बी गोइंग टू बी जीरो सो टू विल बी कैंसल बाय टू सो आंसर इज एक्स प्लस वन बाय एक्स माइनस टू विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फंक्शन इन केस ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन सो इन दिस वे यू कैन जस्ट चेक योर सोल्यूशन वेदर इट इज करेक्ट और नॉट so now the next question is question number इलेवन that is integration of x cube plus फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर दिस एक्स स्क्वायर इज इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो वी हैव टू टेक दस एक्स क्यूब इन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ ईच टर्म एंड टेकिंग द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म आउट साइड सो The next step will be x cube will be cancelled by x square. Sorry, just forget to write down here dx. You have to write down dx in each term. So it is going to be x dx plus five. X square will be cancelled by x square, and we get one. So the answer is one dx minus four into x is to power minus two dx. Why I have written here x is to power minus two because I am going to apply the formula of x is to power n that is x is to power n plus one upon n plus one. So answer is x is to power a hey, power is one. So one plus one is two upon two. The integration of one is x. The integration of x is to power minus two can be minus two plus one upon minus two plus one plus c. So here I get the answer x square upon two plus five x. Now minus two plus one is going to be minus one, and minus minus will become plus, and this will become x is to power minus two plus one will be minus one, and x is to power minus one can be written as one by x plus c. So this is our final answer: x square upon two plus five x plus four by x plus c. Now the next question is question number twelve. Question number twelve is integration of x cube plus three x plus four upon root x. Now you have to proceed in the same manner you have done in question number eleven. In question number eleven, you have splitted the term over each term. So in the same way, proceeding like that, x cube upon root x dx plus three is constant. Taking it outside, x upon root x dx plus four can be taken outside one by root x dx. Now, first of all, you have to simplify the terms using the rules of exponent and powers. Here, root base is same, the powers are different, and it is in the division. So we can just do apply the formula of a raised to power m upon a raised to power n, which is going to be a raised to power m minus n. So three minus one by two, and this is going to be one minus one by two. And this is going to be simply minus one by two because square root denote power square root denote power one by two. So if I will take in the numerator, the power will become negative. So it is going to be now taking the LCM two two three the six minus one will be five by two. Similarly here taking the LCM two two minus one is one by two. And here it is simply minus one by two. Now everything is in the form of x is to power n. So using the formula of x is to power n, that is x is to power n plus one upon n plus one. So I am getting the answer five by two plus one upon five by two plus one. Same way three raised to power x three into x is to power one by two plus one upon one by two plus one. And four into x is to power minus one by two plus one upon minus one by two plus one. Plus the constant of integration that is c, so I get answer five by two plus one is going to be seven by two upon seven by two plus three into x is to power one by two plus one is going to be three by two upon three by two plus four into x is to power minus one by two plus one becomes half that is one by two 
upon 1 by 2 plus c so shifting this 2 in the denominator that will be shifted to the numerator so the answer is 2 into x is to power 7 by 2 upon 7 plus this 2 will come in the numerator and 3 into 2 is 6 so it will become 6 into x is to power 3 by 2 upon 3 or you can just cancel this 3 so the final answer is 2 into x is to power 3 by 2 plus this 2 in the denominator will come in the numerator and it will be multiplied by 4. So 4 into 2 will be 8. x is to power 1 by 2 can be written as root x plus c. So this is your final answer. Please note down all the questions. So the next question is question number 13 that is integration of x cube minus x square plus x minus 1 upon x minus 1. See here the there is linear term in the denominator. So first of all try to make the factors. If factors is not possible then you have to apply the long division method. But here you can just see that we can make the factors very easily. So what we can do taking the term, x square common from the first two terms I get x minus 1 and taking the one common from these two terms I have taken the common. So it will be x minus 1 upon x minus 1. So by, by factorizing I get x square plus 1 into x minus 1 upon x minus 1. So from here we can see that x minus 1 will be cancelled by x square minus 1 and, and then splitting the integrator uh, integration operator over both the terms. So I get the formula of integration of x to power n that is going to be x to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus the integration of 1 is plus the integration of 1 will be x plus c where c is a constant of integration so the final answer is x cube upon q plus x plus c moving on to next question that is question number 14 integration of 1 minus x into square root of x dx so first of all we have to multiply each term in this bracket by square root x so what i'm going to get root x minus x into square root x will become as we know that a raised to power m into a raised to power n is a raised to power m plus n. So we are going to add the powers of these two terms. So 1 plus 1 by 2 will be going to be 3 by 2. Now splitting the integration over each part, square root x can be written as x raised to power 1 by 2 dx minus integration of x raised to power 3 by 2 dx. Now the integration of x is to power n again the same rule we are using again and again x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 in the same way x is to power 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 3 by 2 plus 1 plus c where c is constant of integration. So it is going to be 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 which becomes 2 by 3 x is to power 3 by 2 same way 3 by 2 plus 1 is going to be 5 by 2 upon 5 by 2 which 2 become 2 will come in the denominator numerator and 5 will come in the denominator so it becomes 2 by 5 x is to power 5 by 2 plus c so this is our answer of this question now the next question is integration of square root x into 3x square plus 2x plus 3 dx so first of all we have to multiply the each term in this bracket by square root x so what i'm going to get taking the 3 as a constant outside i am multiplying square root x by x square so just multiply means that you have to just add the powers of this x here the power is 2 and the power is 1 by 2 so 2 plus 1 by 2 is going to be 5 by 2 plus 2 can be taken at outside 1 by 2 plus 1 which is become which is going to become 3 by 2 plus 3 is a constant so it can be taken outside and square root x can be written as x is to power 1 by 2 dx so simply in the first step what i have done i have just multiplied this square root x by the entire bracket and applying the rules of exponent and powers which says that if the base is same then the powers will be added so the power is 2 plus 1 by 2 becomes 5 by 2, 1 plus 1 by 2 will become 3 by 2 and here nothing is uh, there so 3 multiplied by square root x will become 3 root x and root x can be written as x to power 1 by 2. Now you can see here that every term is in the form of integration of x to power n. So again applying the same formula x to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 into x to power 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 3 by 2 plus 1 and the final is x is to power 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 1 by 2 plus 1.
plus c. So what do I get here? 3 into x is to power 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 upon 7 by 2 plus 2 into x is to power 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 upon 5 by 2 plus 3 into x is to power 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus c. So arranging this taking all these two in the denominator in the numerator this will be shifted to the numerator so 3 into 2 will become 6 by 7 x is to power 7 by 2 plus 2 into 2 becomes 4 by 5 x is to power 5 by 2 now this 3 will be cancelled by 3 and this 2 will come in the numerator so it becomes 2 into x is to power 3 by 2 plus c so this is our final answer the next question that is question number 16 that is integration of 2x minus 3 cos x plus e raised to power x. Now just taking the integrator, uh, integration operator over to each term and here we can see that 2 is a constant term so first of all we have to take it outside. So 2 can be taken outside x dx it becomes x dx minus 3 can be taken outside and it becomes integration of cos x dx plus integration of e raised to power x dx. So now the integration of x will be x square by 2 again using the same rule x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 will be x is to power 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 that is 2 minus 3 the integration of cos x is sin x and the integration of e raised to power x is e raised to power x plus c so this 2 will be cancelled by this 2 so the answer is x square minus 3 sin x plus e raised to power x plus c you will get again the same function if you will differentiate this function with respect to x as you can see there the derivative of x square is 2x the derivative of sin x is cos x and the derivative of e raised to power x is e raised to power x and the derivative of constant is 0 so in this way you can check your answer please note down so students our next question is question number 17 that is integration of 2x square minus 3 sin x plus 5 root x so again Proceeding like the same manner, taking the two outside, integration of x square dx minus 3 can be taken outside. So, integration of sin x dx plus 5 can be taken outside the square root of taking the uh, square root as power 1 by 2. So, it will be 5 integration of x is to power 1 by 2 dx. Now, just apply the formula of x is to power n that is x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. I am repeating again and again. So, I hope so that you have learned the formula. You don't need to cram it. You have just learned the formula. Now the integration of sin x is minus cos x. I told you that in the integration everything is going to be reverse. In differentiation the derivative of sin is cos. That is com coming uh, the answer is coming in positive. But in integration everything is going to be reverse. So whatever coming in positive now you get in negative. So integration of sin is minus cos plus 5 into again this is of the form x is to power n which is going to be x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c so the final answer is 2x cube by 3 minus minus will become plus 3 cos x plus 5 into arranging this 1 by 2 plus 1 will become 3 by 2 and in the denominator also i will get 3 by 2 which becomes 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 will becomes 5 into 2 will become 10 by 3 plus c so now the next question is integration of secant x into secant x plus tan x so first of all we have to multiply these two terms by secant x secant x into secant x will become secant square x dx plus integration of secant x and tan x will become secant x tan x dx now you directly know the formula of integration of secant square x and secant x tan x the integration of secant square x is tan x why because you know that the derivative of tan x is secant square x so integration of reverse process now you have to just think in your mind what is the derivative of uh, in which answer you get getting the derivative secant x tan x so the derivative of secant x is secant x tan x so the integration of secant x tan x is going to be secant x plus c so this is the, just you get the final answer in the same way Proceeding the next question that is question number 19 secant square x upon cosecant square x. Now first of all you have to just see whether you are able to apply any formula. No. So first of all you have to just change the secant and cosecant into sin and cos. So 1 upon cosecant square x will become sin square x. 
and the secant square x can be changed into 1 by cos square x or you can just see like that 1 upon cos square x and this cosecant is the reverse of sin so it can be written as 1 upon sin square x this sign will be shifted to the numerator and this cos will come in the denominator so it becomes sin square x upon cos square x and everybody knows that the sin upon cos is equal to the 10 so it is going to be 10 square x dx now you don't we are having no formula on the integration of 10 square x so you have to use the identity you have done in class 10th everybody has done that secant square x minus tangent square x is equal to 1 can we apply can we derive, derive the formula of 10 square x from here yes definitely secant square x minus 1 is going to be 10 square x so putting this value of secant square 10 square x sorry it is secant square x minus 1 dx now splitting the integration secant square x dx minus integration of 1 dx now you know that the secant integration of secant square x you have done in this question also it is going to be 10 x integration of 1 is x plus c so this is our answer you have used this rule you can just mark the formula over here you can write down PTI that is point to remember now next 20th question is integration of 2 minus 3 sin x upon cos square x so first of all splitting the terms it will become 2 can be taken as outside and 1 upon cos square x dx 3 is a constant so taking it outside sin upon cos square x so it will become 1 upon cos square x will be secant square x and here we are having cos square x 1 sin upon cos will become 10 x and 1 1 upon cos x will become secant x what I have done, I have just splitted, splitted the, uh, the, this cos square x into two terms, cos x into cos x. Sin upon cos will become 10 and 1 upon cos will become secant. Now just apply the formula of integration of secant square x that is 10x. Integration of secant x 10x is secant x plus c. So I hope so that you understand each and every question we have done in this video. So students, now the last two questions of this chapter, exercise 7.1, question number 21, the antiderivative of square root x plus 1 by square root x is A, B, C or D. So this is basically an MCQ question, you have to find out the correct option. Here they have just confused by writing the word antiderivative, but all of you know that the antiderivative means the integration, that means we have to find out the integration of root x plus 1 by root x. So that is very simple just write down in the form of power n. So this is x raised to power 1 by 2 and this is 1 by root x can be written as x raised to power minus 1 by 2. Now using the formula of x raised to power n which which gives you x raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. x raised to power n is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c. So the answer is going to be 3 by 2. In the denominator also get 3 by 2 which becomes 2 by 3. Minus 1 by 2 plus 1 will become 1 by 2. In the denominator also get 1 by 2 which becomes 2. 2 will come in the numerator plus C. So please see from the correct options either A, B, C or D. Which one is the correct option? The correct answer is this one. You can just match. This is option C. So the correct option is C. Now the next question number 22 if d by dx of fx is 4x cube minus 3 upon x is to power 4 such that f of 2 is equal to 0 then fx is we have to find out the value of fx in this case. So just see here how to solve this solution number 22. This is d by dx of fx is equal to 4x cube minus 3 upon x is to power 4. Now what we have to do, we have to take this d by dx or we have to shift this differential operator into the integration operator by taking it in the right hand side. What we get fx is equal to this integration of 4x cube minus 3 upon x raised to power 4 dx. So I have shifted this differentiation into integration. 
so fx is going to be 4 can be taken it outside because this is a constant so integration of x cube dx minus 3 is a constant so it can be taken outside and 1 upon x is to power 4 can be written as x is to power minus 4 dx can be written as x is to power minus 4 dx so what's the answer x is to power n is going to be x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 upon 4 in the same way x is to power minus 4 plus 1 going to be minus 3 upon minus 3 plus c so we get finally fx as 4 will be cancelled by 4 3 will be cancelled by 3 so what i get x is to power 4 minus minus will become plus and x is to power minus 3 can be written as 1 upon x cube plus c but in this question it is also given that f of 2 is equal to 0 f of 2 is equal to 0 that means we have to put the value of x is equal to 2 just compare this f of 2 and f of x that means we have to put x is equal to 2 so just mark this equation as 1 and put x is equal to 2 what do we get f of 2 is equal to putting the value of 2 x is equal to 2 what do we get which is going to be 2 raised to power 4 is 16 2 raised to power 3 is 8 plus c now taking the lcm i get 8 16 into 8 is 128 128 plus 1 is 129 plus c now it is also given that f of 2 is equal to 0 so putting the value of f of 2 is equal to 0 that means 0 is equal to 129 by 8 plus c so here we get the value of c that is the value of c will be this is in plus so when it will be shifted to the left hand side it will be changed it will change the sign so the value of c will be minus 129 by 8 just put the value of c in equation 1 from equation 1 the final answer is fx is equal to x is to power 4 plus 1 upon x cube and the value of c is minus 129 by 8 so just match which option is matching from this question so this one is the correct answer answer is option number a that is x is to power 4 plus 1 upon x cube minus 129 by 8 so answer is option a so here we have completed exercise 7.1 hope so that you have understood our exercise thank you so much for watching our video thank you students